Southampton, Max Baird arrives in readiness to fight the winner of the Ford Far match. Is that a grand trip coming over on the Berengaria? Rather smooth sailing, Every, everyone was great to me. Oh, by the way, I'd like to introduce my little baby brother, Buddy. Say a few words, Buddy. Hello, folks, I've had a great... Uh, uh, that's fine, and Ed, I was, he's a marvelous boy, a grand chap, I, I love him. Stars of the Squared Circle, heavyweights Max and Buddy Bear, trained at Speculator, New York. Buddy, the brother of the one-time champ, was on his way up the ladder of ring fame, training hard for a garden bout with Jack Doyle. Jack Doyle is in training for his big fight with Buddy Bear at Madison Square Gardens, New York. Jack's putting in a lot of hard work and thinks his chances are good, but boxing isn't the only thing he can do. Tell that I'm now more ambitious and more anxious to win the heavyweight championship of the world since I've married. And I can only say that I will always do my best. And here's Buddy Bear. They must be together every morning, noon, and night. It's an old southern custom that makes everything all right. Say, listen, but if Doyle can't sing any better than that, why well, you're a cinch to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> In 1934, as in 1959, the heavyweight championship was garnering sports headlines. The rivals then were Primo Canera, the man mountain from Italy, and the champ, and his challenger, Max Baer. Max was at least 50 pounds lighter than Da Prime, who weighed in at 265. And even at six feet three, Baer was a good deal shorter. But Baer was tough in his prime and out to return the title to America. In the bout, Canera was floored 12 times in 11 rounds, as Bear repeated the classic pattern of David versus Goliath. Max Bear, in white cap and sweater, is training in the Californian Sierras for his coming attempt to wrest the world's heavyweight boxing title from Primo Carnera. Bear races along the road with his big brother and seems to be in good form. Now for some muscle building exercise and presumably he'll need it if he's going to out Carnera. Anyway, there's no false modesty about Max. Well, folks, you're looking at the next champion of the world. And I'm going to knock Canera out with one of these. Max, now that you're champion, I'd like to show the folks the kind of a walk you're going to have. Well, I'm going to walk like my old pal Dempsey when he was champion. <laughs> show you how I <laughs> <laughs> Max, I know there's millions of people last night that didn't have the opportunity to see the fight. I'd like to hear you in your own words tell the folks how you win the championship. Well, I think that I won the championship with a lot of right hands, left hooks to the body, and then changing my attack to the head. I think I'd rather surprise him. And after me knocking him down several times, when he found out that I didn't weaken, I guess he figured I was in better shape than Commissioner Brown thought I was. One thing I'd like <laughs> to ask you, what was you doing down in Asbury Park all the time? Well, I was playing possum. Did you ever hear of a bear playing possum? <laughs> Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Max, now that you're champion, what is your next ambition? Well, I'm going to go places and do things. They better be good things. See those gray hairs? <laughs> <laughs> 